Let's get ready to rumble! Hello my friends and welcome for another rum review. My name is Dan and this YouTube channel is mainly about whiskey, but some other spirits will be reviewed here now and again. I will go through visual presentation, nose, taste, finish and share my impressions with you. And if you want to be up to date with my future reviews, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and touch the bell for notification. So yes, today is about another different spirit, another rum. This time four square, 12 years old rum, Clifton Hall Great House. It was bottled at 40% ABV with no sweeteners added. Well done. It is molasses based, being a blend of traditional column and pot stills, and has been aged ex bourbon barrels of American oak for a full 12 years. Four square Clifton Hall Great House, 12 years old rum, has been selected from the reserves of the well known Four Square Rum Distillery. Barbados and has been chosen by uh, Massimo Franchi, the uh, owner of the Great House, a nice place for uh, going on holiday. This uh, unique bottle is unique because each bottle is individually numbered, was only to be found in Barbados, available as the name suggests at the uh, historical Clifton Hall Great House or um, in the Barbados airport duty free. And um, unfortunately, I am not the owner of this bottle. This one is just for um, image purpose. But I had a chance to try a sample and uh, take some notes before uh, reviewing this rum in front of you. As I mentioned, the rum was selected by the owner of the great house Massimo Franchi from a four square distillery stock and released as a tribute to the estate's rum making past. Tribute because as early as uh, 1650, virtually uh, every sugarcane plantation in Barbados had a rum distillery attached, and the uh, Clifton Hall plantation, of which the uh, earliest record is a 1656 mortgage, was uh, no exception. So, what do we find in the glass? Not a lot left. The nose is really, really beautiful. It's definitely four square. No alcohol on the nose due uh, to those only 40% ABV, which is a bit odd from a uh, four square. A very nice fragrance, something like strawberry marshmallow, then uh, milk chocolate and brown sugar. One of the most perfumed rums I ever tried. Well, I did not try too many, you know me, I'm a whiskey person, but I really like this smell. Sweet, some vanilla, cherries and uh, red apples. On the palate? Mm. Mm -hmm. It is a little bit watery because of those only 40% ABV. It lacks some power indeed, but it is very drinkable. A little bit of bitterness to begin with, then um, caramel, tobacco, sugar and um, vanilla. And there is some um, dustiness, which I sometimes find in uh, some whiskies. Sour cherries, a good amount of um, fruitiness, tropical fruits. And it feels quite buttery on the palate, despite the 40% uh, ABV. Well, this is very drinkable, maybe too drinkable. The finish is quite long with sweet notes and some floral aromas. So yes, I am not an expert in rums, but personally, I think this is a very good one, uh, full of flavors, a good nose and a really nice feeling on the palate. It's not cheap, 
many bottles are probably collected and some of them will never be open. But at the end of the day, who am I to judge? I just enjoyed this sample. Well done. And this is done. Thank you for uh, watching and I shall see you next time. Cheers.